or water or something. I feel like <laughs> I really feel like Gulliver. You feel like a waterbed? I feel like Gulliver when he washed ashore and he woke up and they were like his hair was tied down, you know? <laughs> <coughs> Good morning, Nancy. How are you? Uh, Swifty and <laughs> feeling. Okay. Now, this is just for your talk so Oh, oh, all right. Start okay. Again. I could go ahead and start. Let me just go ahead and start talking with you. Okay. Are you? What do I, what do, I do? <laughs> <laughs> just look awake. Okay. Uh, are we rolling? Yes, we are. Oh, all right. Then I shall start. Okay. Steady, Bill. Darling. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, I have to. I couldn't help but think about it. That it's been a great week for Canada. The Pope and Bill Murray. Well, Bobby, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm just doing your 30 seconds. That's all right. I can talk through that and, and then then I go. I want to know when you want me to go in on it. All right. Questions. Okay. Let's do the 30 seconds and then we'll yeah. start. Bill, yes. this is what we <laughs> what is known as. That's the, right. This is the technical end of the business, which I know nothing about. This is the establishing two shot. Is oh, what yeah. this is. You know, okay. it's like the master shot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is to set the scene that we're in Quebec City and that this fellow I'm talking with is Bill Murray. And uh, Should I pull out my driver's license <laughs> or something like that? <laughs> yeah, no, wait, name, I must have something. name rank and serial my number. room key? <laughs> no, that would be wrong. <laughs> I tried to give you my room key the last time I saw you. Do you, you have the most incredible memory. How did you develop that? Start, let's start the real interview. Now we're starting again. Claire, Help me, I don't know what's happening. We're rolling, Bobby. All right, well, Bill Murray, you said that you would be meeting us during the Razor's Edge, and so here we are, talking during the Razor's Edge. Well, I, I always knew I'd make it, but I, I'm so proud of you making it out to that Betty Ford Center and being able to get back here and work again in such a short time. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I'm a charter member, did I tell you? <laughs> You know, uh, Bill, I have to say, like everybody else, I, I'm not going to say I was skeptical, but I'm going to say that I really wondered how this would come off. And I have to tell you, you son of a gun, you pulled it off. So, <laughs> you pleased? Yes, I am pleased, well, especially when a hard-boiled journalist like yourself comes in here and says, well, I wasn't skeptical. And you, well, take that with a grain of salt. I think everybody was uh, skeptical, and I think um, I don't blame them. You know, the last thing I did was, uh, you know, for obviously a false arrest case in Joliet, Illinois. It was mistaken identity. But uh, nobody would think that I could pull off the razor's edge. It's a serious piece. It's a Somerset Mom story. It's a real, a very serious movie. And um, the scope and sweep of it were big. It was in three continents. And, and uh, you know, I just got lucky, I guess. I, I have I mean, it, I, you know, you folks who haven't seen it, but it's probably one of the greatest films ever made, and, and everyone here knows, and you're just the last to know, I guess. <laughs> so it's a very big deal, bigger than the Republican Party. I have a sense, <coughs> or a feeling, that uh, for you, this is maybe the most important career decision you have ever made. Am I right? Well... Uh, no, actually, moving from pizza into show business, I was making pizza and getting a lot of the same entertainment joy of spinning pizzas and throwing them. And then all of a sudden I got this acting job and they paid me about the same money and I took it. And I figured, well, I'd have better luck dating girls if I didn't smell like Italian sauce all the time. You know, it's like, a, someone here smell like oregano? You know, it's like, ah, uh, well, uh, room freshener or something. You know, it was always me. It's, you know, and you had this, you know, you you know, you're dancing with a girl and you get flour all over her, you know. It's just, it wasn't bad. I was kind of a, you know, swinger at the time and wasn't doing well with that kind of technique. This is serious, yeah. I don't know. I can't take it too seriously because I've been so serious all week about this thing. And um, I already took it seriously, you know, by doing it. So I feel like I can clown around a little bit now and make faces and, yeah. Um, <laughs> and live up to your image. And live up to my image, and which I've just tried to ruin, or destroy, or change, or something. But it's, uh, <clears throat> it's it was a big deal, yeah. I mean, everybody's making a big deal about it, but I, it wasn't a big deal for me, I, you know. I knew I could do it. The big deal, I think, is that uh, the movie is good, and that the director did an amazing job. It's a beautiful-looking movie. It's, a, it's an American movie, which is, you know, you don't see it. The last ten years, 
movies about America were directed by people from Czechoslovakia or England or Australia. And this is about Americans, and it's made by a guy from uh, Illinois. So I think that's what's good about it. That's what's charming to me. Bill, on a serious note, I have to say that there was one scene, and I made a note as, as I was watching it. That is the scene where Piedmont dies, and you're doing like a soliloquy <coughs> to him or about him. And, and you start out by saying, I never understood gluttony. And it, and it goes from there. And it's a wonderful moment, brought tears to my eyes, and also made me write, it sounds like he's talking about Belushi. Now, in actual fact, were some of those thoughts um, relating to John? Mm, yes, yes. Uh, I tried to, I just started, I started thinking about my brother. My brother plays the fellow who dies, Piedmont. That's my actual brother. Actual brother. <laughs> Brian Doyle. Well, he Doyle. lived in the next bed for a long time. Anyway, Brian Doyle Murray. And um, <coughs> I wrote that scene, and um, that particular scene, and I started thinking about my brother. Like, I knew he was going to play the part, and I started thinking about him. And then I found that my thoughts just sort of went to Belushi. I started thinking about Belushi, and I started thinking something that Hale Ramis said about Belushi, that he, he loved to make people uncomfortable, the thrill of, he loved to discuss people, the thrill of making them un uncomfortable. He really loved to make people uncomfortable, he liked to shake them up and step on their corns and see what came up, you know, when, when they sort of dropped who they were acting like they were. And so it was about uh, the, the bear man, and, it, and there's other people that it's about too, there's a little more that I use some other people that I knew that are still alive. But uh, that he, he it really does color the whole thing because you feel you see it's John sort of you know even you know if you if you don't if you know about our relationship you just see that it's John you, know, you, you can see it and it pops out and it's a little touching. Yeah. At this point in time, Bill, uh, because you're making this transition in your career, is it that fame and money is not enough? Well, fame and money is enough to. Uh, drive you nuts. It's enough for some things. I n well, it's not, <coughs> it's not what it's cracked up to be, you know. Never, anything you ever want that you get is never what it's cracked up to be, you know. So I, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed or anything, but that's not really, I don't think that was what I really wanted the most anyway, you know. Really, I wanted something different, some sort of, you know, s feeling of safety or peace or something. And, and, and that's, I, I get it by working, you know, and working on something like the Razor's Edge, it was always a reminder that what you want was, you know, some sort of, you know, peace and quiet, you know. The meaning of life. Well, yeah. The meaning of life. Bill, we've run out of time, but it's lovely to talk with you. Seems like we just started. Yeah. It was, all <laughs> it was that getting going that's <laughs> yeah. difficult. And again, I will say that I enjoyed your performance, and I hope that everybody looks at it and appreciates it, and it gets the recognition it deserves. Thank you, ma'am. Is that okay? Yeah, that would be real nice if that happened. All right. Good Thank to you see you, my dear. Thank you. Okay. Good luck.